Hey, so many of you have asked me to do a video with my fall decor. So I figured, hey, I'm home alone right now. I might as well do it. Uh, so here is a tour of my home and my fall decor for 2020. As you walk into my front foyer, I have this beautiful curved staircase, but my son decided to put some spider webs on the staircase and a huge spider, and it is so cute. I'm not a big fan of Halloween decorations, but something like this is really cute for me. I prefer to decorate more for Thanksgiving uh, than for Halloween. So over here on my entryway table, I have a pumpkin collection and I have these beautiful lighted trees. And I'll show you a closer look. So I have uh, right here, this is like a green ceramic pumpkin. This one back here is an aqua color, but it's a, a mercury glass, so it has lights on the inside. I have this lovely sign that says gather uh, right behind it right here I have a three-tiered pumpkin mercury glass with lights inside of it um, I got the mercury glass things at home goods and honestly I cannot remember where I got the other pieces and then this year I bought these really cool trees they're by Martha Stewart and they have little lights on the tips of them. And so it's really cool and it makes a really good entryway to our home. So this is how our entryway looks. When you come in, there's the spider. And then we can go over into my living room uh, so this is my living room. My colors in my house um, kind of are pulled off of these drapes that you can see. So it's a combination of aqua and some salmon pink colors. Uh, so I try to keep all the decorations for all seasons in line with those. And so on the couch I added in this pumpkin pillow and it's more of a rusty orange color. And there's our a cat bed on there. And one of my favorite things in the world is pineapples. So of course they have pineapples on display as well. And then this little guy here, he's like a little monster and you can put a votive candle in his head and it glows through his eyes. It's pretty cool. Then beyond the living room is our music room and sunroom. Uh, this is one of the most feminine rooms in the house. We also call this the ladies' sitting room. Uh, my daughter and I spend a lot of time in here. Uh, so we have our little piano and the music on the piano I actually have set to be Bach's Toccata in D minor. And those of you who are musicians will recognize that music. It is a spooky organ piece and I love playing that at Halloween time. And in this room it can be a little bit cold so I decided to use these pillow covers that are like sweaters and I'll use these for the winter as well. Um, I've decided to not buy throw pillows anymore and I'm just buying pillow cases and pillow covers off of Amazon. And then this little table here has these ceramic, actually these are glass, hand-blown glass little pumpkins. And then on the couch, I have this mirror that I just painted, but I have some more pillows and a blue truck with pumpkins in the back and then a gold um, pumpkin pillow with sequins on it. It's actually really cool. And then on the table in front, I have a tray. It's a wooden tray that my husband made for me. I have a large aqua um, 
hand-blown glass pumpkin. I call that my Cinderella pumpkin. I think it looks very much like the coach that Cinderella had made out of a pumpkin. I have some pumpkin topiaries that I've had forever. I bought those probably 20 years ago. Of course, there's a gold pineapple. And on the candlesticks, I used a burnt orange color for the actual candles, and they do have some glitter in them as well. And then on the coffee table, because it is glass and because I feel this room can be kind of cold, I added this uh, salmon color uh, runner, and it seems to add a little bit of warmth to the room. So that is our sunroom slash music room slash ladies sitting room. So in our dining room, we have a large dining room table and what I've done is I use that same runner I bought that at Hobby Lobby around Easter time so that same salmon color runner and then I have three of these wheat stocks I think those are just so beautiful beautiful and simple and they're tied with brown satin ribbon I have these two gold pumpkins I bought those at home goods this year and then I have salt and pepper shakers, they're turkeys. I also invested in these candles. These are battery operated candles. They operate off a timer and I just put them in some antique silver candlesticks that I was given by my mother-in-law. And then on our windows, I have these beautiful wreaths. I bought these wreaths at Home Goods. And they were all done, but I decided to add in the salmon ribbon and it has gold on the edge. And that way it blends in with the decor of the room. And I have these on both the windows here. And then this part, I had a hard time figuring out what to do here, but I was really excited when I got it put together. So this is our buffet in our dining room. And what I did is I have these um, silver um, compotes and I bought little lamb's ear wreaths and I put those in there. I bought these craft pumpkins. I bought two of them both at Hobby Lobby. I spray painted them metallic gold, sat them in the compotes and added a little bit of the ribbon. And then you can see I have some pumpkins that match the colors of the room. And I got those at Kirkland's. Uh, the silver turkey you see in the middle, I got that at Home Goods years ago. The thankful sign with the turkey, I got that at Home Goods this year. And you can see our wallpaper. I have wallpaper in my dining room of all things. It's an aqua color and it has gold metallic and the salmon color. Um, and so our whole house matches that. So this is how our buffet area looks. So moving into our kitchen, here is an arrangement I put on our center island. I bought all the supplies at Hobby Lobby last year and you can see it from the front door when you come in. So I think it adds a lot uh, to our entryway. And over here, I have our kitchen table and this is a clear crystal bowl that was a wedding present and I just filled it with pumpkins of different colors and then I have a pumpkin, white pumpkin, salt and pepper shaker that I am using and I bought those at Hobby Lobby this year. Um, you can see we have a wallflower plugged in at the back that is Bath and Body Works and it's the sweet cinnamon pumpkin scent which is my favorite for fall. And then going over onto the kitchen counters, I have this little vignette that I put together here, just some pumpkins and um, the cake plate. Uh, we have a lot of sweets in our house around Thanksgiving time. Um, we love to bake, so we have that all in there. And then um, our dish soaps, even our dish soaps are fall related. So I have the Mrs. Myers um, acorn spice uh, dish soap and I have Bath and Body Works soap, the perfect autumn for our hand soap for washing. 
And then over in this corner, this is where we go through all of our fruit. We get tons of fruit as a family, but I just have a pumpkin uh, cookie jar and I change out all of our dishes. So our fall dishes are these ship dishes. I think they're called trade winds. And here are a couple pieces that are here. So we actually have fall dishes that we use um, in our house. So we change out our dishes when it's fall time. And then right now I am burning this candle by Bath and Body Works. It's called Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Again, one of my favorite scents. And then finally, I will take you into our family room. Again, please remember I'm home alone, but we were just having dinner as a family, lots of things going on. Uh, so what I've done is I've set up this room where over here on the bookshelves, I put in a few pumpkins into the bookshelves to just liven that up. And I mentioned I take care of pillows. So over here, I have these pillows and they have pumpkins and it just says grateful. And then at our fireplace, I have a banner that says, hello pumpkin. And we have pumpkins at the base. I got the M pumpkin at Kirkland's this year and the other pumpkins I've had for, for a while. And of course there's a pineapple there as well. So I have these wheat stalks above the mantle. And you can see in our painting we have above the mantle, we have some of that orangey color in it. So I pull that in elsewhere. And then this beautiful, um, it's a metal and wood piece that I have with the candles in it. And I set up those candles to run off of a timer. And then on the other side of the fireplace is another one of the pillows. Sorry about the mess behind the couch. And then on the couch, I have several pillows. Again, I just change out the pillow covers so I don't have a ton of pillows everywhere. And the pillow in the middle says happy fall. And then at the center of our coffee table, we have this bowl and I just put in some lamb's ear and a bunch of different color pumpkins that I got from all over the place. So I'll take you on a quick spin in, there's Sherry, my son's cat. Hi Sherry, how are ya? And this is a little project my son was working on. He made these animatronic characters, but this is how it all looks. So I hope you enjoyed that tour of my home and my fall decor. I'll put out another video, another tour at Christmas time so you can see my Christmas decor as well. Have a great day.